A 40 kilogram mass is supported from below by two identical 200 newton per meter springs and also from above by two identical 300 newton per meter springs. What is the equivalent spring constant? So we've got a situation here where we've got support for a mass from above and below and that support is derived from four springs. The springs above are identical to one another and they have a K value of 300 newton per meter and the springs below are a little bit less stiff but identical to one another, K equals 200 newton per meter. And in order to find the equivalent spring constant, we have to understand whether these springs are arranged in parallel or in series. I think if you just look at the top or the bottom by themselves, it'll be clear that they're in parallel. So if I just look at the bottom here, clearly these two springs are in parallel. They're acting independently, they're side by side. So that's a quintessential parallel spring arrangement. However, you might get a little bit confused looking at the bottom and top together and say, hey, aren't these in series because they're kind of in line with one another? Springs in series have this kind of appearance. They connect to each other without connecting to the support or the mass anywhere in between. So that's a series arrangement. Technically, this is still a parallel arrangement for all four because all four springs connect to the mass itself directly and to a fixed support, right? This is fixed above and fixed below. So it turns out that this is a fully parallel arrangement. All four of these springs are in parallel with one another. It might not be obvious based on that configuration at first, but hopefully the fact that you don't see this anywhere helps you rationalize that it's not series. So how do we actually find the equivalent spring constant based on that insight? We're going to use the search terms springs in parallel, and you can also use equivalent spring constant. Those will both bring you to the equation we need Need, but it's really nothing fancy. It just says that the equivalent spring constant is the sum of the individual spring constants. So all we're doing here is just adding them up. Two times 200 newton per meter plus two times 300 newton per meter. And that gives us a total equivalent spring constant of 1000 newton per meter. The best answer choice is D.